Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. It's amazing to see all of the volunteers that really put in their time and energy to go out there and do the things that they were doing just to make sure everyone was safe. You got to give credit where it's due. Absolutely. We're grateful for them and also has implications for us mm -hmm. too because the smoke travels downstream with the wind and obviously impacts us uh, several hundred, even thousand miles downstream. Now we've got a couple questions. Is the smoke going to come back soon? Right now, most of the smoke is over the Great Lakes, so from about Milwaukee to Chicago through most of Wisconsin. It's very smoky there today. And as we push the clock forward, you'll see that this smoke plume slowly drifts to the east, but it's coming in kind of at a snail's pace. This is a forecast that only goes out 48 hours, but as we start to get towards Thursday morning, you may see the smoke begin to thicken up. Hard to tell if it will be at the level of intensity it was recently. But just an early heads up for you towards the end of the week, we may be getting a little bit smoky again. We'll keep an eye on that very closely for you. In the immediate near term, over the next 12 hours, we have scattered showers and storms popping up once again. There will be a wind out of the south about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Temperatures will rise into the 70s once again, so kind of a rinse and repeat of what we had yesterday. There is a low risk for severe weather, mainly in northern New York, outside of the Champlain Valley for places like Saranac Lake, Potsdam, Malone, Messina. There could be a few strong storms with briefly gusty winds and small hail. Of course, heavy rain and lightning will be a concern in anything that develops today. Here's a look at the humidity trend. You can see we get a bit of a break in the action late Friday going into Saturday. Briefly drier air will move in, but right as we kick off the first of the next month, July starting over the weekend, we get right back into the humid conditions. So at least we get a little bit of a break as we think about Friday. Showers and storms off to our south, but mostly cloudy locally this morning. Not too much to show you other than this rain shower moving through the Champlain Valley on its way to Plattsburgh and Aussable. And you can see a couple of raindrops in the Northeast Kingdom, but otherwise not too much to show you on the radar this morning. 60s outside now, dew points also in the upper 50s and low 60s, so it remains muggy and humid and will be that way for several days going forward. Showers and storms will pop up over the terrain. They will drift as they please, so keep an eye on the sky today. Have a weather app handy so you don't get caught off guard. We'll basically do this again tomorrow. Generally more action in Vermont and New Hampshire, but as we start to think about Thursday, we do start with some clouds, but there are some indications that we turn brighter in the afternoon. So trending a bit drier as we approach the end of the week. Good to see a little more sun on Friday too, and then turning unsettled again over the upcoming weekend with highs in the 70s and 80s. We'll